Welcome back. You're watching McLaren Port Huron's Today's Health, and we're talking with cardiologist Dr. Sivaji Gundalapali. And in this segment, we're going to talk about pacemakers. Dr. Gundalapali, what is a pacemaker? Pacemakers are the devices that uh, send small electrical impulses to activate the heart muscle, and these are used mostly when the heart is slower. It consists of a battery that goes under the skin and a wire that thread is threaded through the veins into the heart. Why would someone need a pacing device? Most of the time it's needed when the heart is too slow and it's not pumping enough blood to support uh, you know, body function. So then you need to put in a pacemaker to increase the number the heart, of time. The heart, the heart is beating and so to increase the cardiac output and, and also sometimes if the heart is too slow people fall and mm -hmm. pass out. Okay. So to prevent passing out to Im increase their you know, capacity we use the pacemakers. So how do they actually work then to correct these arrhythmias? Well pacemakers have a computer and they have uh, two mechanisms. What's one is called sensing mechanism that means they are detecting what's going on within the heart and if the heartbeat is coming on time as supposed to come they just keep quiet. And if the heartbeat is not coming in, they send an electrical impulse to activate the heart muscle. Can, can people feel that? No, not at all. Not, not usually, they don't feel at all. So it's just very low impulse. impulse. It's just working all the time. Are they permanent once you get a pacemaker? Well, there are varieties of pacemaker, temporary pacemaker and permanent pacemakers. The temporary pacemakers are used in emergency situations. Sometimes this situation could be temporary and use them for a few days and take them out. Or sometimes they're used as a bridge to put the permanent pacemakers. But once we put the permanent pacemakers, they are permanent. Then you have a pacemaker for the rest for of the your rest life. Of your life. Unless uh, sometimes we have to take them out if there's an infection or something. But if there's a need and you have a pacemaker, it's permanent. It's not going to be there. Are there different types of pacemakers? Well, uh, yeah, there are pacemakers which uh, you uh, stimulate only one chamber the bottom chambers most of the time, or it could be dual chamber pacemakers where they activate both the top chamber and the bottom chambers of the heart to establish synchrony between the two of them. There are also what we call uh, biventricular pacemakers. These are the special pacemakers where the, there is a wire in the right side of the heart and also on the left side of the heart and to coordinate the uh, synchronize the action of the both ventricles. So, so what kind of pacemaker you get is obviously dependent on the need the need of what your heart is doing wrong. Yeah. The regular pacemakers are mostly used when the heart is slower and uh, that's where the regular pacemakers are used. Whereas the biventricular pacemaker is when the heart muscle is weak and there is a dyssynchrony between the two chambers of the heart. Uh, that means most of these people have what we call left bundle branch block. And if you go back to the original uh, pictures that I showed you, there is one bundle that supplies the left side of the heart, one bundle supplies the right side of the mm -hmm. heart. If the left bundle is not working and it's taking longer time to activate the both bottom chambers of the heart, there could be dyssynchrony between the two of okay. them. So we use these special pacemakers to bring back that synchrony. Okay, what is this? Yeah, this is the regular pacemaker where it is. This is the battery that goes under the skin and uh, these are the wires that go through the venous system here into the right side of the heart. There could be one to the bottom of the heart and the one could be the top of the heart. Sometimes there's only one, sometimes both of them are put in. These are the regular pacemakers. This is the picture of a defibrillator. This is for tachyarrhythmias. When the heart goes into tachyarrhythmias or fast heartbeats coming from the bottom of the heart, and there is, which could lead to cardiac arrest, these devices will detect when that happens and they give a shock to make the heart back into regular rhythm. So that's a different type of device than, than, yeah, than these, the other. These are mostly for the tachyarrhythmias from the bottom of the heart. These are more sicker patients who had previous heart attacks and scars, whereas the regular pacemakers are just to help with the slow heartbeats. So, like everything else, is the technology on pacemakers changing over the years? Yeah, they are becoming more and more you know, sophisticated and they have what you call sensors uh, that can sense uh, the body needs and then regulate the heart rate uh, as needed. You know, if you are active and the heart rate has to go up, they can use different kind of sensors to make the, that modulation of the heart rate. 
So it goes without saying that once you have a pacemaker, you are going to see your cardiologist on a regular basis to uh, make sure that the device is functioning normally. There is no change in our you know, condition. So it's, it's, we check them all every six months to make sure everything goes right. Well, I've learned a lot today about the uh, electrical system of the heart and, and how important it is to get treatment. Do you have any closing comments for our viewers? Well, cardiac arrhythmias are very common, and fortunately most of them are benign. And by changing simple lifestyles, you can lead a normal life. Even if you have serious cardiac arrhythmias, there are a lot of options available as described. And uh, as long as you follow with the, you know, medication, take your medications, follow with the regular appointments, you can lead a normal life. Very hopeful. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. And thank you for joining us. You know, our website is just really a wealth of information, um, health information. You can watch any segment of this program. And there are other Today's Health programs there as well. And that is mclaren.org forward slash PHTH. We hope you join us again next week for Today's Health. Today's Health is brought to you by McLaren Port Huron.